Uh, good afternoon. Uh, welcome para sa ato in Prescon uh, with uh, Engineer Edgar Sarmiento. For the information sa ato na ito, friends from the media, mawari na ako sa Katalogan kanina. Uh, exactly 10.08 this morning, nang salawat sa niya, certificate of candidacy si Engineer Edgar Sarmiento as the uh, representative for the first district of summer. So, para sa pagtikang sa nato ni Presto this afternoon, arawan natin sa niya opening statement si Engineer Sarmiento. Okay, I'm going to say that. Thank you so much for coming over and hindi nga pag narawat natin sa taga-media and to know myself better. Then, me, of course, and Jindy Uwe, I have to request him to sit beside me because the book that I have will be running also for the vice governorship. So I find it appropriate for him to be here as a proxy to the sister. So I just uh, answer whatever question that you ask me of. Patrongo na mo salamat paghatag niya sa oportunidad pagkilala mo sa ako. Masan mo kung ano man nga ni ako na napatuloy ng mga pagkakaroon. Open na po. Okay, for the first question we have here, Karina Kuminan Caranso from DYOT Region of Bayan Kabay. Good afternoon, Engineer. Siya ka na po na pagkiana. Ano ko ala nakagod sa iyo na dumarating ka ka kawisman sa primero distrito sa Samar? And my second question, before entering the politics, who is Engineer Edgar Sarmiento? It is private life. Ah, kadi na yung nasabi mo. I come to Kalbaya as often as possible. Is that as a private individual? Ah. When I studied my primary education, I studied at Kabayo Private School, then studied at Christ Digging College. However, my father and my mother, they found it appropriate for us to study in Sipu. Because that time, when I was in school, I was in school, I was in school, I was in school. When I was in Sipu, that was, I think, 1970, I spent most of my time with the late Cardinal Rosales because he was the one that was with his person Cebu. Ultimately, he became the Cardinal. And in the Aton Calbayog, don, by the Camila Association of Cebu, we call it Calbayog and Cebu Association. It was founded by no less than the late Cardinal since 1950. After the late Cardinal passed away, because he was the honorary president. Anong palyo si Tito Ito nila? However, after, I think that was almost 12 years ago, by the siya in hampang sa ako na siya siya, God, pwede ba nga? You can sit over as our next president. So, I didn't have, I was busy most of the time. But I have to accept the request coming from someone whose personality I treat as a father. In Karawat Kiton, up to now, I am the president of the Kalbayugnan of Cebu Association. The, of course, it's an annual event in honor of our Blessed Mother. So the novena, like what we have here, it starts at August 30, ends on September 7. We have this fundraising, and it is always in me as a practice. Whatever funds that we raise, then we will give up the right thing. But I don't say anything about it no? because these are all religious events for me. And again, as a practitioner of a strong faith, you don't want to say anything about what you do for the church, much more for those who need our assistance in Calvayo. However, me and my younger brother, Sackman, then congressman, we are seven in the family. I am, of course, there's only one girl, six boys. I am number three in the family. Mel is number five. But growing, kami ko permit na po, because by the mangol ini nga gitatawag pa nga, not only as a brother, but baga na tambakada. So when he joined 
when he devoted his time in politics. Ako man, ato na sa negosyo. So whatever accomplishment he had in life relevant to politics, ako man, o man akong nahimong man sa akong kalugarin in the business world. I started, of course, helping the company to answer your second question. We, my father opened up a construction firm. It was a small construction firm. We practically started from the bottom because I want you guys to know the background of the family. My father requested me and my older brother to help him in the company at that time. We had our first project at the Ilido Airport. This was way back when I was at first year college. So we have to stop for one semester. Every time my father has a project, what I can get to me good looking. So, I was telling him that I was telling him that I to telling him that I was 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 telling him and finally realizing after three months, you can't even go back to the Atomal Construction Firm. So, Jim, we pleaded our father. He said, Pa, you know, and I was saying, Can we go back to the Atomal Construction Firm? Can we go back to the Atomal Construction Firm? Because at that time, we didn't go back to the Atomal Project Manager, Project Engineer, and we were going to go to the Frisier College. So that's where I learned life. That's where we learned our role, dealing with that time, when I was still, when we stopped studying at first year college, I was already dealing with, of course, the, the protocol of doing business with the engineers, the graduate, the directors, then learning so much about life. So that, that opportunity gave me the experience I needed in life. So from a humble beginning, and knowing so much about the, the realities of life, I was able to gain so much experience now. So from a small construction firm, we developed it into a major player in the industry, which we changed into corporation, and the president and CEO of OAS Incorporated. It's a triple A construction firm, but we deal now with dams and hydropower projects, not no longer roads. However, it was always a practice in the family. Now, we don't want to interfere with the affair of my brother, much more in politics. And it, because that will give him a good name. Because again, we don't want to mix business with politics. No? Even on my in myself right now, uh, the reason why I was convinced by my brother because he pleaded to me. He seek my assistance because when he was elected on the congressional district, he is used to having roadmaps. So he had already nine years roadmap for his district. However, when he was appointed the secretary of DALG, I said, Mr. Brad, can you help me out? You just have to prepare because there are so many projects that I left behind. And I want this to continue. So I also need, I also saw the need of my presence here because not only uh, on his second term as a congressman, but remember, he was also uh, designated the Secretary General of the Liberal Party. So, with uh, heavy load work, Dalina Bibiana Mani and Distrito, much more Yanana as Secretary. So, that was really the reason why I was convinced no, to run. But running, taking over one's shoes, for me, these are two, diff two things. No? Ano sa nasunod ka lang ang waray ka sa harit? Ay ka doon, nasunod ka kaya alayon ka. Although, I have to be honest that from the very start, I always have, let's say, a soft heart for summer. Because I cannot afford looking at our constituent. Here you are, you travel, I've been all throughout the world, seeing so much the beautiful things in life. Na pag-uli mo din, baga mahinay mag-ihapon ang 
atong improvement. I, I just wonder, these are the things that I really wonder. Kaya na naman, then knowing, researching better, na naman ang inyan dynamics sa atong problema, there are so many things that has to be addressed and it cannot be done overnight. Ang bugiro kita mo siring kinaklayo, it's going to be a long process. That's why, to, to resolve these issues, we just have to have a continuous process. And the bottom line still is education. We have to orient a lot of our fellow Kalpayognos, summer in, in general, about dedication and you know, the value of education. Yeah, that's, that's all I hope I, I was able to answer your question. Good afternoon, engineer. I'm Cecilia Tibo from the UNOG Virgin Mine, Ohio. My first question is, sa iyong pagkasabot, ang din ba personal and professional achievements? Ito na para makasarbigasan ng mga tao sa first district of summer. And, which leads me to the second question, how prepared are you to enter politics? I believe so. In all honesty, I'm already ready for it. Because I've been through all, I've been, I have so many projects all throughout <coughs> the country. Nakikita ko, iba-iba, ang dynamics, no? Nakikita ko ng kaupayan sa iyo, sa iyo na, ang ato maray. I've been dealing a lot with uh, members of the representative of the House. Uh, I researched the background of the nine municipalities and the cities, what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses. <coughs> because I cannot just sit in someone's chair if I'm not knowledgeable also. So uh, I am very much ready for the, uh, uh, candidacy that I am running. And I believe so that uh, if ever I am elected, I will be an asset to the country because the reform that Pino is doing right now is a guiding force to me. Because imagine, I can always see the value of someone so dedicated. I can always see where we are five years ago and where we stand right now. You see, that five years ago, I can get a plan on the asset of the armed forces. What I can get a plan on the asset of the armed forces. our soldiers did not to fight insurgency, but to protect protect the country as well from eating a, like the threat of China right now. Aside from that, as what I uh, relayed this morning into Sakapologan, the continuous growth of the era on the different local government units, you know, nakikita mo ko ang kaupaya naman sa eating a mobile pagpadala. That's why these are the tools that encourage me, and I believe so. I am prepared for it. Uh, again, I'm hoping that the knowledge I have will be a tool for me to become an asset in the House of Representatives for the good of summer. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, Kong. Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, um, I, I, I just need to ask these four questions actually to complete a profile story. Uh, I just don't know, but I think a short, uh, a short liner would be what's the piece. Um, how, how would you differentiate yourself uh, in terms of leadership uh, with, with your brother, Sek uh, Sarmiento, Sek Sarmiento, in terms of leadership particularly? In terms of leadership, I would say that we have more or less the same strength. Uh, management. But then, uh, my personal touch like that. Growing up, I'm the hostel. I'm so friendly. I, you didn't have to tell me Marani. That's my person. Yeah. Oh. But uh, you mentioned a while ago you've been exposed to early uh, in the corporate world. Um, how would how you go about the recourse of that shift? of the transition from the corporate life to your political, expected political life? Well, I consider Congress as a board group, the same process. 
you have the speaker, the CEO, the same process. Uh, you know, in every board, if it's a proper board, you don't, you don't uh, have the same opinion. You argue most of the time. Same process in Congress. What uh, I want is that once you are there uh, in Congress, definitely, the priorities, the needs of the different uh, municipalities and cities, in short, the first district of Western Samar. So I am just a bridge to make sure that the needs of our constituent Mahat are one, you know, one way or another. Yes, sir. Sir, any opinion on the following? Uh, Bagsamoro basic law. One line or two. I'm, I'm with uh, Bagsamoro. How about yes. charter change? Charter change, yes. How about, sir, the FOI? FOI. Uh, I am for it, yes, for the good of everyone. Sir, any comments about the, uh, the issues in West Philippine Sea? It's a very sensitive matter, but uh, definitely it has to be acted. It's now with the United Nations. Sir, creation of Northwest Province of Samar. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. The, the land area is okay. So, as long as the requirement to create another province is given, I believe it's, 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 a, it's, it's a high probability, yes. Sir, last question. Any legislative, uh, any legislative agenda, uh, agenda uh, that you have in mind that you have, you have in mind that uh, you wanted most to pursue in Congress? There are so many laws. What I want is to implement those. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, ko. Uh, Jasmine Binifacio sa Rappler. Bali, sir, gusto ko lang masabutan. Uh, five points uh, to know engineer Edgar Sarmiento. And ikaduha is uh, ano ito ni mo DRR program for your district? DRR, yeah. Disaster Risk Reduction. Okay. Five points, thank you so much. Five points to know me. Not even, I don't want to go to the five points. Kanabi lang ako sa lahat, sincerity. Very simple. I just said that. But to know me better, really, it all becomes very simple. Anak ko simple ko lang. I'm a very sincere person. Now, on... The second question DR, is... This. The DRR program for your district. We have already a lot of programs from the local government and the disaster risk management. I believe so that on the level of the city government, siguro preparado naman siguro kita. Because uh, the primary consideration is on the local government. It's a mandate of the LGU. What they can support if ever the needs to modernize the systems coming from the national government came up with a function. That's the only time that I can come in. So, again, it all redounds to the proper usage of ERA. Because, of course, if there's a continuous growth of ERA, and then we can release it from ERA, there definitely a time will come by so much that we can use LGU, and that we can fully utilize the part new asset relevant to risk disaster. Because, of course, we can use the Atom Pinalang in Asama is no longer a typhoon path, no? The typhoon has shifted already on the eastern seaboard, northbound. So, then, siguro, this is a blessing from the Divine Almighty. We get a karang po magsaring a kong, and if it is on po manak, I'm hoping that our constituent will, will elect me to the seat. No? But uh, I'm just thankful for addressing you. Uh, as Paul Rivan, pero po hindi la, Edgar Lana, I can't believe it. Thank you so much, no? May ilap ako, doon ka pa ka nangyari kayo ng Jim. Jim, kung pwede? Okay. Jim, after 2013 elections, itak pa kay Anna, how prepared yan ang IICA pag-dalagan, pag-atubang, pag-atbang, whoever, ito yung mga tans na madadagan ni Watka Vice Governor ito ng Samar. Salamat ni Jess. Ako ako lang kaya ni Minyeng Kayon. Si Ate yan ha, burod di ba siya? Malanak, December. So, by umalasan niya pag-uro siguro, pero na rin timang preparado kami. 
ang pagsiring sa partido na dalagan. So, moment na pag-yes naman, prepared kami sa anytime na mahina mo. Haimu liwati na, Jim, ano yung political plans for 2016 election? Actually, was may babaroon lang siguro, pero siguro ano ang konsihan. Thank you. With regards, since, since you're running for uh, as a representative for the district, uh, as a representative, what is your comment over uh, uh, and proposed nga pag, mag, an, uh, there are there are politicians na candidates na walang karoya hindi rin na magkamay hindi rin lang limit ito 3 year term at uh, 3 years itong kadao sa pag-aaral pag ang magkamay atin extension uh -huh. and then the second is on the review itong present taxation in the Philippines number one the term limit I think it's every time that that uh, subject is presented, the mugul and debate. So, much as say one, two, if ever. Okay, election is very costly. Once every three years. So, I, I want to go back to the original format of four uh, for the presidency, like the U.S. Four years. Same thing with the House of Representatives. Again, election is very costly. If only we elect, let's say, good leaders, three years is too short. Six years is too long also for a bad president. <laughs> 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 but if ever, what can we answer? You know, um, if, 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 if they have their limit, how many years are you going to do this? Four years. Four years. Four years. That will save the, the country a lot. Wag babalita o ang ang atong pili ko makita ko magkamo. Again, I'm going back to the era. One era because in every one phase of the government collects 40 centavos ang ibabalik siya through era. Mara mo tama siguro di kita nitikam. 2010 ang Pilipinas kada shin sa nato bulsa in every 100 pesos 26 na daan ang ibabayas sa nato bulsa. And I believe that it's all 50, 60, 4 na lang. And 8 pesos, mabula itong kwarta pa doon pa siya na itong balay. That is the only amount that we have for infrastructure. The rest, para naman pagkaon na ito, kung ano naman, yung palits and gas, yung OOE, yung ano na ito. However, during Pinoy's administration, nag-good training. Why? Because of good governance, we were rated by the financial institution. In Tali Kita Mo, Pena Rating, Pinaratong Costa Money. Rather than paying our debt services, since 26 years, we have been by 16%. By 50%, I mean. So this is size of 16% na na <coughs> debt service. By the way, the surplus is 16%, which is added to the 8%. 8% salary. And that on Intraina, in a put us in. By the part of the percent, so there are so many rows, there are so many, and the consistency of the money that is being remitted to the local government through ERA, because this is the only time during the Pinoy administration that every year, na hata gudayus and corresponding ERA on all local government units. If only the chief local executive will use the money wisely. Time will come na punano mga ni kinalan ni Imprama upos ko din natin na matindi magbuk. And what will you use the excess money? Definitely it will use to be, to it has to be utilized on other expenditures for the good of the constituent. Siyang it moment yung kanilang debate dito sa Katpalogan. Reforma ang if they're karuhin doon tanira. Pero it does, it is all, it is all dependent on the constituent. Siyang it na natin wish man na of course, the entire part is in liberal. Kung mahimo man lang na it is a partido liberal, ang pipilion, ang presidente, kung pwede na, tigang sa liberal, 
Tapi si Presidente Liberal, may nakita dito na Secretary niya na ada sa Executive, may kung lumaog man nga ni kami, pati si Congresswoman uh, Mina Tan, we will be there. No? Maaaro siguro kita si mo pa yung payman sa ito, payin sa sama. Then you have a governor to make sure that the interest of the entire province of Samar di pa-proteksyonan. Mabal na nato nung ta kinaaro, no? ipapangadi, nga this coming election, magpipili mga kami ang tanan. Okay. So, second, sir, and with the mention of the ni, ni, ni Lenny Robredo, the uh, vice presidential of the Liberal Party, nga, magand karoyag niya, if ever ma-elect niya, kita o butro, kaya i-review ang law of taxation of the country. As a businessman, ano ito niyo? Ang um, law of taxation, it has to be reviewed. Even even on the level of the president now, he was misunderstood from Sering Nayana. Diri ko siya mahatma. Diri siya much more relevant to the income tax and diri ko siya mo hata matubo siya. But when it was explained to him that whatever ining reduction relevant to the workforce, makakover up man sa ibang expense, ibang ng revenue, that's why he should write, I mean, ipaparibig ko din niya and that will be good for everyone. Because again, the dynamics of economics. Kung ba'y na si Juan de la Cruz access fund sa bursa, hindi mo mong gamot ni gagasto ito. That's how the economy moves. Because once you hold on to your money, you save your money, the economy will never move. Ano sa akin? Ba'y itong kikita na lang na weakness nito sa kalbayo? If only, again, given the opportunity, there should be a catalyst para natong economic activity sa kalbayo will move. Uh, one of those that I can easily bring in is a call center. Remember that the call center industry is not bringing in to the country 25 billion US dollar. The, the, the revenue uh, that we are getting from the share coming to the OFW is coming in at 24 billion US dollar. So by next year, any call center must madako na. So that's the reason why I'm very confident that in the nano mga ni in the inka na taxes pag reforma it will be granted. I'm confident about it. Sir, halak na with regards sa call center. Ito ni tanda ito ni particularly the entire terms of summer. Enak ba ang workforce for for call center? You know what? I was given. I was a proxy to my younger. Brother, last Saturday with the scholars in Samar, I can see in them the brilliancy and I said the way they speak, the way they handle themselves. I said these are assets that this that should be fully utilized. What we lack here is really is the infrastructure that we need. Because if I was a company, which uh, I have, I have friends in New York and friends in other countries in Australia. When I complete for an account, simply money mechanism call center, you can have an account. May you start with 50 or 100 workforce, kung magkumbinsi ito ang pagkarina ng DD, they can also say, because kung ano sa na call center agent ato sa Cebu, you are paid easily 25,000 pesos. Now, if you can bring them to Calbayo at mas buro marato na ito sa cost of living na ito DD, if you can, they can be offered a 15,000 salary. I believe sa magkumbinsi a 10,000 saving per individual. If there's 100 workforce, the production is going to save into the company. No? Because all you have to do, if ever we can have the call center here, but the training, so we can tailor the colleges when they tell the gym, no? colleges are going to do it. We can tailor fit the educational system as call center, and it is a huge demand. Na kukulang ka ng Cebu, na kukulang ng Manila. Now, if ever you have a call center with the catalyst, Pagkawas ito, makangawal ito sila. So there will be economic activity. Because they have excess money to spend. Moment na natong kulang mo dito. But again, it's a long shot. I'm hoping that I can convince them as long as the infrastructure is already there. So that otron ko and ginihimo ko ni Sekmel nga to develop the airport that can accommodate this time an Airbus A3 directly. Siyempre, ang kanabi kong scale, kung ano natin ang aeroplano mo tayo, mahal man ang pamasahe. Ang mga ito natin, ang natin at seaport, kaya nungupay na natin, to encourage also, ini nga natin shipping company. Kaya, ini nga ang tag-iyas, ini nga, kung kalayang shipping, mawag niya kumintaryo sa ako. 
There are so many goods that are being shipped from Cebu to Kapayo. Pero pag uli sa barko, Anatomy po sa, again, we have a huge piece of land. The land area in Kalbayo, that is 880 square kilometers. In Metro Manila, I mean Manila itself, that is only 36 square kilometers. Now the combined land area of the first district, that's 2,400 square kilometers. As against Metro Manila, na 600 lang. May pupusa kayo naman, wala kita produkto. Again, we go back to, to the question, but this time, we just have to continue what uh, Sekmel did, no? To prepare again another roadmap. Kung naghimo sa sa roadmap sa infrastructure, this time, we have to make a roadmap for livelihood naman. Livelihood good. That's why, as I said, the actual name of my bridge, meaning Barangay Rural Initiative for Development and Good Economy, we have to give something as a catalyst to the mga Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Fred. Again, uh, two questions for Sir Yudar and uh, one for Sir Jim. Um, you mentioned earlier that you are into hydropower uh, plant uh, business also. And uh, you said that uh, Samar is a very huge land. Uh, in, on that note, uh, do you have, or, or do, do we have in Samar a potential area that uh, can be developed into a hydropower plant so we can bring down the power rate here in, in at least the Samar? No? And uh, the other thing is, uh, I hope you have heard about the cooperative. Uh, Magkakaroon uh, sila by October 24 ng show of force, the whole nation nagagawin kagapit sa Tison Memorial Circle dahil tumutukol sila sa appeal <coughs> ng tax exemptions ng mga cooperatives. Uh, you being, uh, you know, uh, soon to be legislator in Congress, what is your heart on, on the things of uh, cooperatives? And for Sir Jim, you know what, what happened after what happened to the father in the past years. Um, what keeps you? What drives you and uh, Mama Ika to keep going into the political arena? Right. Yeah, so you know, there are two areas that possibly going to be a tough love. Uh, these are two. The service contract is now being prepared in Manila, the level of the Department of Energy. Of course, the lead is the Garcia family coming from Cebu Sabeco. Uh, and hopefully it will be awarded to them. I am doing a project for them sa late sa Negros uh, Occidental. So once the project is done, titikan na na tinitibig. Hindi na doon 20 megawatts. Definitely it will, pull the, it will reduce the cost of uh, energy. And hindi naman nga imo pagkana I have to review the notes. Okay, when the cooperative is not properly run, they're also cooperative as it's well run. So that's why they're not the kita and the cooperative. The more than the visit, the more the uta, the more the problem. Again, in fairness to those in the cooperative, it's a non-profit. Kung pagkita mo mo pa man. We have to continue with it. But if and when the operator is not well run, the book of account is showing a negative <laughs> entry. Makure man liwa. This is what happened in other. Because right now, by the option and the part of the energy, if the operator is not well run, there's an option. The masudo the private sector only again. And na hantu kan tama lang siya. Kaya bang ito mataas na cost of energy. Uh, did I answer your question, Fred? All right, now. Right. Um, siguro uh, man, Fred, ano na na nagpusa mo na ano na kami ni kita ang partido ng hindi kasi yas sa tapat na kaya. So alin na rin naman ng padayon yung bisa ng wala na naman kami. Ang karuyan naman ng padayon ng mga upay ng pumatang maging sa tapat na kaya yan. Personally, sa last 2013, nakahimo mga muda kasi hindi pa maling na desisyon sa isang partido, pero yan na this time, 
mabawi man nakuha na mo na na resaw kasi-kasi nga pagbulig sa partido, pagbulig yan ko. Ang una na pa kung may bulig, um, himuon ko yan ng 2016. Okay. Yeah, uh, 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 you may mention that, uh, Edgar, uh, that you have started the uh, strengths of uh, the uh, municipalities of the first district of Tama. So, first thing uh, first, uh, what will be the priorities? What needs to be done? First, I just have to continue with the project my brother started. The yeah, road's good, no? Mong uh, Yapunjun, the basic, the road's Yapun, the focus, the infrastructure, that is the first. So, uh, once uh, the infrastructure is set, dito na kung titigang sininga, if I were elected, and ato na like this. Because uh, there's so many funds coming from your PUB, iba iba. Infra and livelihood? Yes, infra and livelihood. Uh, the, the definition definitely the bridges, Barangay Rural Initiative for Development of Good Economy. I have to see the strength and weaknesses. Kaya kilibuto ko may tumatana. So, ano mo rin ko pang katima kung paglibot? Okay, practical. So, I know you know, I just have to be honest, but definitely rest assured that sa sinun na itong kita, kung mapipili man, I can now really answer your question. Thank you, Julie. Okay. Next. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. May kaspay ka pa ng city sa mga step ko. Kanina, you have mentioned about putting up call centers. And uh, just recently, during the CIPAD meeting held here in Calbayo City, uh, for business sector, sector on the Regional Development Council, Mr. Oliver Khan, he himself is, uh, has a call center in Cebu. I asked him why he did not put his call center in, in summer. And he told us that it is because of the poor internet infrastructure. We have very slow internet speed and no backbone in case there will be some trouble. Practically, the whole region will be out in the internet world. Now, with your proposal for a call center, uh, call centers, how can we uh, put all these things up where, in fact, we have a very slow and uh, not so good internet highway here in, in our area? What's your name again? Ray, Ray. Ray, it's like this Ray, yeah. Right now, the call center, not only at the call center, but the entire users of uh, Internet protocol. The reclam will get a money good. So the National Telecommunication Commission is already addressing it, but we just have to encourage the players, you know, grow smart to really be serious about it. Okay. Really, again, the uh, the the plus factor in summer is the cost of living for Maratuan that we can encourage them. It is a convenience mangod kay Sibu at Tumatanan. They don't want to venture, but we just have to explain to them and plead to them that by the Malugar sa sama ng preparado na. It's a, it's a marketing tool that we have to encourage. I hope that we can bring in really investor. Pwede mo magtig ang Gutiayla as long as, again, the infrastructure is already set. Yeah. Uh, I still have some uh, things we have to ask you, sir. Uh, by the way, may we know what is your advocacy? Do you have some advocacy? What are you supporting for? My advocacy really is to do something about poverty. Poverty. I have a soft heart for Ininga. Those that are disadvantaged in the community. If only everything everyone can be given an opportunity of a better life than live by Mexico. So this is a very huge problem, not only here. Yeah. It's going, in fact, the United Nations, like the uh, number one problem right now is poverty alleviation. 
Mas maupaypay nga ni kita ng Pilipino kay di rekit na dayo sa ibang lugar. But right now, the Middle Eastern, they're migrating to Europe. In thousands, or I said, you're much better. At least, anantun mo. Nagkukuri nila, may naukyan pa dito, or I don't. But again, it's really poverty and evasion. Mabal na ko ng bukas niya. Yeah, yeah. If ever we get fed into Congress, how will you bring this matter? So that the national government through legislation will focus on the problem of uh, poverty, eradication of poverty, if possible. Continuous reform education of, of course, proper usage, usage of funds. Anti corruption. Definitely. Proper usage of funds. Anti corruption. If there's no corrupt, there's no harm. That's the way to do it. That's why we are passionate about Pinoy. Because remember, history dictates ang kadamuhas ang failures ang ining first family kung naungay ang asawa. What was the failure, Marcos? When the late President Colin Aquino came over, she was of course widowed, what is the problem? During the era of FBR, mo pa'y kutmanin siya, kaya wala'y magulungin ang magsisiming. Kan era, di ba kung nasa, watang-tang na yun. Pagka din naman siyang inaingan ka ng PGMA, nakadala si First Gentleman, the FG letters was commonly used. Ano sila yung si FG, nasa rin wala. Everybody's using FG. Yan ang Pinoy, kaya siya man lang. Nobody ka na si Pinoy, kaya nag-hugaw-hugaw ng mansa sa nira, apelido, wala ito. That is, a person that I admire most, and I'm hoping that in the next month, the same thing will happen. When you see that he's going to be able to do his own husband, because he has to run the country by himself. And I hope so that with this leadership, that will address your question. Yeah. One last more thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah construction for uh, power plants, uh, I agree. Now, what is your position on the uh, continued approval of the Department of Energy to fossil fuel plants, or, or just like coal plants, uh, which eventually causes this uh, greenhouse effects for climate change? It's, it's, it's a priority right for uh, green energy. Hydro, wind, solar. Sometimes, na may gusto ng hydro, because they think if you use hydro, you're consuming water. No, you're not. Hydro is not consumable. It doesn't consume water. You're just realigning water. But once water goes to irrigation land, di tayo na titikam. So greenhouse effect. There are so many causes. And in fact, if you notice, the issue in the United Nations is that it's not really the third world of the developing country that is causing the uh, greenhouse effect. These are, these are the fully developed countries like China and the United States. Most of them are going to be able Why? Typhoon generates from the Pacific Ocean. San to say, pero may kita ginagihan. So, pero may hope nga rin, nagkakaluyan kita ang bagyo, it shifted already Northbound, gipa pa pa sa tiyan ng Pilipinas. Ano yung pangalian tala? Labi na kung saan ito patrol na si Mga Merig. Constantly, not only kalbayo, but the entire country will be spared of this calamity. And if ito grabe man, I know the effect, even China, even the rest of the countries, we are not the only ones that are suffering. Remember this. If you watch Cable News Network, all throughout the world, once there is a typhoon by flood, grabe ko ng era man. Hindi nila kita ha, natanan ko ng kalimutan ni Sabri. Yeah, going back to my last question, so what is your reaction or position to the continued approval of the national government of, I think for last year, there were around 16 coal power plants approved by the DOA and we are still numerous coal power plants in the pipeline for approval. Now, coal power plant, there are already modern plant that doesn't emit too much greenhouse. However, the reality is that this is the most convenient plant to build. Easily, 
a coal fired power plant you can build it in one year's time. No, you have to balance also development. Nasa dininga an automatic greenhouse because if you don't build plus, what's going to happen to the economy? We should, we will again have power shortage. Balik yapon, but again, I am more inclined to just balance by the kita coal by the makita increase in greenhouse development to energy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Nagagaw na siya. Uh, Sir Edgar, I only have one question. Uh, it has reference to the aim of uh, Sir Edgar on making the province a food basket. But one of the abused and misused resources are the marine resources in summer seas. Marine resources. And it is one of the resources that is mismanaged and uh, when elected as, at the time you sit down as a full pledge congressman, what do you think can be best done in terms of legislation to be able to improve the regulation on fish, uh, on marine resources usage and utilization? Protect the coastal area. That will eliminate abuses. We have been combined, remember, during the conference of Kuya Ini. Now, there was a continuous process in protecting the marine development. You cannot overfish, number one, good name. So that's why you have to balance. I want to pause and then I don't fish pond today, what I know. I wonder why. Because we need it, really. You have to balance marine, natural resource, and of course, artificial. Do have good name. So that I will encourage again, if ever, even the opportunity to look to revisit that. Why? How come uh, we are so much discouraged in uh, coming up with fish ponds? Well, in Japan, we can always develop the same process Japan is doing. Ada sa dagat nira mga ining uh, fish uh, birds uh, fish uh, ng scale ng uh, one year sa pagkiki dito ato kung dito na magasto dito na lang tasa like it kat paloga and irabi it is very much suitable sa mga development what the Japanese are doing it's very simple they have this natural habitat upotangan nila sa net may mga floaters dito na lagi papadakon ista so it will be advantageous so really the 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 potential of Kapalongan said, okay, but the Pakita is like a cove, no? That will protect the entire place, but you, uh, ito ang gunang kinanglano na. But that's why what the governor candidate Emil said as a food basket, it's very potential goods sa nato. In fact, I was talking to uh, the board member here, I told niya, the primary market that we have to consider is Tacloban. Kaya tagloban, kada muna sa tao. Kaya mag-aanan naman kung everybody is towards agriculture or fisheries, wala yung kanagkagado. There will be an oversupply, parang arurubad din. So definitely, by land, ano yung dito at ano yung dito at para effective at the full basket. Thank you. Sir, one more. Did you ever consider that one of the alternatives on uh, I mean, one of the steps to address, uh, to manage the coastal resources well is providing an alternative li livelihood to, to the fishermen. It was done before, but uh, we just have to think what is really suited to them. Okay, sa atong road, mapagigyan ang kitaan ko na karuya, that should be the best thing to do. We cannot take it over them. We have to ask what they like before we can really plan what is good for them. Thank you. Engineer, good afternoon. I'm Mike again from Sama San District in Baik City. Ano ang pagyana? How does the family, family niyo ha, with Congressman Mel, choose politics? So okay, since Congressman Mel became a mayor of Talbay, magkano po kami nakita ng involvement from him and her family nga nakita na mo ng Talbay. So ano niyo bin choose yala ang politics since sa mo? Mayroon-mayroon, until this time, yun ang nag-sugitari sa Bay Energy. 
Kung sino na ligod na para yung kami. <laughs> like Mel's, my younger brother, Zach Mel, being the secretary of DLG, my first instruction that ayaw kong kang pagsunod sa DLG. Same kung tala na nga ni Sir Dede Dede, I will also tell my relatives, ayaw kong kang sunod sa opisina. Ako lang opisita siya malay. I think that's what Mel is doing. Nire sa Garoya because he doesn't want to taint his name. Again, as a contractor, wala ko na pumali sa Samal. Kaya na naman, I will be destroying the future of my brother. Mga ko lang tayo, man of principle, we brought up the way by our parents, to have someone in politics, bukto ko ang parayo. That's why kung nagagagagagag na papakita, but hindi lang kami spalay, at talking mo. Dada yung kung pwede naman lumong, nabisita, like but uh, the passing away of my Tito Tula, my relatives, and yet, pero hindi, balay, wala. Next session ko, engineer. Hindi nga, uh, Congressman Mel, in Bishop Calvayo, um, Gameda, sin sa uh, International Airport, and now it's uh, passed now, tika, tika, na-realize na uh, we have the seaport na kayo ko na doon sa mga part na ako. In your own part, what particular economic infrastructure na gusto niyo introduce din sa Albay or the First District of Samar na may in uh, avenue para magkamay na kita sa mga tinatawang economic development? <coughs> the reason. At dahil naman, build that. Sabi, ito ang pakihan. It is very real. Gimbasa kong kahistory sa Gandara. Pero Spanish time, madana ito. Ito na yung masalo. Madana ito madana, but it was totally abandoned by. Kada mo matas ang kwarta sa probinsya, kailangan din yung nagagamit. You just have to answer why. Last question. Um, also yun na ang tinatawag ng mga island region. In Negros Oriental, Island, uh, Negros Oriental, Negros Oriental became a region by virtue of uh, presidential proclamation. Do you think uh, would it be possible in Sama to be a separate region considering we have only three provinces and three cities? Making Galbaya is the ritual center. High probability, once again, the economic gains is already established. That's why everybody, we have to work hard for the good of Samar. So you will support that, Junior? Yes, I will. If all the economic indicators are ready, but that is in law. Yeah, if I proceed, law, appointed. Good. We can. Engineer, you mentioned kanina na during sa time na si Kong, si Sekwel, ano sa politics na distansya ni Fanny. So actually, isang paggawasan, isang balita na Sekwel was appointed as the DIA of the Secretary and then he made an announcement that you will replace him to run as the as the Congress representative for First District. Yeah, I'm like I'm gumawa sa mga mga tao. As in, may nagyakulitan. So, how will you approach the constituents of Samar that Edgar is not men? I have to prove myself. Okay, maglore, maglore man. At parang sa nataw na iya ko. I have to prove myself. I believe so once I can prove myself, masering masel. Di naman lang ipaling ko, sinsiro mag In what way? Well, I believe so, we cross the water when once we end that. Mas I will be a very effective public servant. Rest in school. Di rin ko na kinig, I will work for my seat. I will work for every cent that is given to me as my salary. Kaya makuri mo na karawat ka lang. Nagilimpong na kung di ko doon trabawa. And if ever given the opportunity, siguro di rin man na kwan as an advocacy on poverty, maybe simply man ako kinibuhya. I can really do something about my salary to help ang nagkukuri ko. That's always me. Very soft heart and poverty girl. That's why as a devotee man mo meri ng sa Santo Nino, kada Viernes, at to sa Cebu, pero yan na siguro ka din, if ever I'm in Cebu every Friday sa Santo Nino, siguro, 
ini nga mga kandol vendors kay kong Samsung. They don't know me. Pero nakatok nga ni, every time you see me, malin niya ko dito. Because I have to give something sa nga po ini, kasi sa ito ninyo ini. Bisan sila, tulong nag-hilo niya na bukas. Easily, there are <coughs> uchinte itong Daniel Apulsin. A person that stand to sell candle from 5 in the morning till 10 in the evening, ring to us in the 20 pesos. You know, you give something 100 wholeheartedly, di ko dito nakilala sa ako. That for me, I said, palita ko rin yung bukas, 30 pesos kada kilo, tulo na itong hila. I believe so, a family ka dito na di sangre. Di sa Marisola, basta may luto lang, okay na. Sir, you are given a chance to be the representative of the first state. What do you think you can contribute as a whole in summer? Jim, thank you. Again, Jim, that's what I said a while ago. Whatever is set right now on the gains of my younger brother, Dieter, titimahan niya ito matanan. Whoever wants, may ita ka ng kalsada, may ita ka ng tulay, what can these people have in life? <coughs> One of them. Only there's good roads and good rest, but that's the time that we can develop livelihood. What would it As a livelihood that we can introduce, kinala lilibutan tayo kay hambugiro mo ng Diyos ako patanong ng limutan. Because we have to ask them, na na ba na nira? The catalyst that will move every municipality, every barangay, no? na mag-upay-upay man ang kinabuhi. Hindi na yun. Nakita ka niya, bisang ganda yung waray natin. You can just imagine, eh. If only a house would be given, kaya siyempre, not an analysis ni Nicole, upay ang gulong paggamit sa kwarta. Tama ba, Jim? Dato ko na. Because we are allowed, no? To disperse, ay hindi nga, livestock. Ang kanding, butangan mo rin itong tanggal, mabubuhin ang kanding. Easily, by the way, tulong ko babae, tulong ka lang lagi. Pag nadamo, it was a multiplying effect of gold. Kadamo, plus, if you look at the potential of gold's meat, hamubo yung cholesterol si Dennis. Only if you can provide them, kadamo si Dennis ang pamilya, hindi siya hindi rin ang ubuto mo. Thank you, Jerry. That's right. Masa ba ba ang question? Siguro, sir, may knowledge na tayo kung sino mag ipokonin natin. Okay. Sa tingin niyo po, sir, uh, ano po yung best asset na meron kayo sa isa sa opponent? Thank you, John. Ito na pakiana, di ko nagmaran kung sino. However, ang ako man lang, I am looking at ang bugiro man ang pili ni Cicilic because of the accomplishment of my brother. Siguro man tataga man yung nekredito sa mga butante sa pagpili man. However, and I come on that to convince them that to do what but leave on the seguro I just have to open to them that I don't know that I don't know that I don't know that I don't know in terms of but to go as an accomplishment so I don't know that I don't know that I don't know that I don't know that they will still elect me as a Samian to be the representative of the house thank you thank you I am Rene Castillo, Axel Rodriguez. Have you talked with the mayor of Pino? Gawain ka hindi ka lang, sir, ba? Kung pinsa yung presidente nga supportahan, isa ko tuloy ko na party siya. President Aquino? No, mayor of Pino. Kung pinsa niya yung presidente nga supportahan. Si Mayor Aquino, he is a practitioner of party discipline. I believe so. Whoever is the nominated presidential candidate of the party, at two minutes. One time. And as a concern, Jim, have you talked with how how's your relationship with him, with Mayor Aquino? Ah, so far okay. Okay. In kalimot at naglabay, mumuro kami ng mga sapatos. Santay kami and wala mga kami na nakat. Actually, ako na nakat. Pero nagkastro na nagkut nagkastro na nagkut kamo sa ni. Oh, many times, dark to dark, we come in, so... 
Uh, you have also mentioned earlier na mayroong mga projects para na iwan sa survey uh, as part of this nine-year group mo. Uh, sa inyo po, sir, mayroong mga ano, uh, mayroong mga uh, para ganyan din yung plan para sa... Paglingkod ko, I will also prepare a roadmap. Igarang mga kudang sito. But uh, right now, I have to follow the roadmap. But, uh, of course, uh, getting all the inputs from the office was also on the Magdalena. Then prepare a roadmap because once you, you, you set a roadmap, it has in close coordination with the mayors, the constituents, you know? But I know what the, of course, uh, the municipal city mayor, before we, pre we do prepare a roadmap, the land of what they, at least an agi, an imo man accomplishment, kay karuya ng kaboto, ma, 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 so, sir, uh, meron ka bang figure from the NC, uh, yung National Statistics Board, kung magkano yung percent ng poverty? 45%. 45%. So, uh, easily, easily one is to one. At it's too high. As of this year, sir. As of this year. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Last. Oh. One uh, question. Last. Last. One question from my... <laughs> Kung pananglitan si Sekretary Mayo magpapadayon sa EIMGS Sekretary, si Otihon, si Sekretary, o si Marujas as President. Yang kaluhayan niwa maging congressman ka, si Otihon, ano ang posible nga may himo para sa samal nga duhakam ang magbubuling para sa First District in particular para sa samal? Anong bintaha sa iyo? Ang bintaha ko sa itong board. Pero ano, ginyak na nasa nasa bukto. Nasa nga yung bukto. Diba ka buka politiko? Di rin siya gawin yung politiko nga maputan pa na ako. Lagas na siya. Kapagkaya na siya naman ito. Ah, si Ben ito. Naman na himo na yan. Waray, naglagas na lang. Siya naman na siya naman. Siya naman na siya naman. Siya naman na siya naman. I am so much in a hurry. Why? ECD is already 52, I-56, ano? Karang mga nga niya kung mabot mga nga panahon, o nga yung liwan kung pwede. Kung ba'y naman kumita, sino yung siya nga rito? Sino yung siya kwa nito, si Governor? So, sino yung siya ay kainit? And all provincial board members, na naman, ito na nag-untro sa sama. Ito na nag-hatay sa kaupayan sa sama. You see, that's why I am really hoping yung President di Manunta kaupo na ito sa partido, ada si Sekretary Mel, ada kami nga doang representante, ada ang atong governor, ada atong vice governor, ada ang atong natanan ng board members kay. Ada man yung natanan as a team, na ano po man ang masasayot ni mo. Because this team, bisan si Governor Candidate Sosa, si Aika, when I talk to them, they are so much passionate. Ani ra gud ang kautruhan sa samar. Labi na gud sa tuksod barba sa nagpuri. So I am again pag bato na gud board. I am hoping that we then no ada sa ibaw. We can do a lot of samar ka. Some day when do we do it in politics masering masering ka. Iton ang kautru sa atong pinalan ka na samar. Thank you. Ani ang samar. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 para itong posisyon. Ito pa kaya nato sa lahat. Kaya mo na di recover no progress man ang naging kandidato. Kaya mo na na-lipsable, eh, mga achievements nga ako na babatihan ang nabasa. Kaya mo na di recover man. Because my brother is a believer of party unity. At dahil siya na-lipsable sa Congress, pwede kita, it is a mayor, pwede kita. Kung hain man siya na, di na ko na siya. Because, again, his life, is towards national unity. Nagservisyon na siya na on the national level as Congress. And I'm hoping that 
in turn they uh, the him or when he was the vice mayor or when he was the mayor and a congressman. Karay man niya nga ini nga hindi na siya sa national at ang level. Kaya mga mga nilipunan at maulat na akong ini nga hindi ka karawat man lang. Because again, as a party unity man, we have to respect each and individual responsibility. I hope I answer your question by the most of that. So, wala na magpapakihan at this point, party na lang 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 Siyempre, kaya po niya nalaong kami na nilatag na namun na magupay ng mga programa, ng mga plano. Dila nila sa natin kung padayo ng Giyapon. Masali ko kanina, nagpapasayin ako na wari makakanda si Aika Uwi. Kaya lang, karoigat niya kumani. Kaya sila kang mahampang, pero ano noong tamanggot. Maraming gusto sa chance na kay Alicia sa pagbubuhod. Siguro po, ala ako na lang, ang pag-message siya, dinaralakit po ang dalawang kami sa Leo Bulig. Salamat. Okay, Engineer and Carson Nien. Thank you, Janet. The most alam as a Tanan, and there is a particular that will kill all of us. Again, for the good of summer, it's a collective effort of everyone. The private sector, the government, and of course, you from the media. Nang ano po kayo sa bulik, let's give something for sama. Ang patuloy ang sama na po kinangaro sa Tanan. The most alam as a Tanan.